Jesus Christ. Amen. Isang pinagpalang umaga sa ating lahat. Kung merong uh, good news, meron din namang sad news. Kaya update balita tayo. Sa gitna ng kalungkutan ng mga Pilipino ay may kasayahan din dahil kahapon ay nanalo ang ating kabayan si Mike Planya sa boxing sa Las Vegas Bantamweight. Isang pangarap na nagkaroon ng katuparan at ang kanyang puhunan ay sipag, tiyaga, dedikasyon. Nabalitaan din siguro natin yung malungkot na balitang pagyao ng kilalang Danding Kowangko Jr. At the age of 85, marami rin siyang legacy, lalo-lalo na sa larangan ng sports Philippines. Ipagdasal natin ang kaluluwa ni Danding Jr. According to the Ordo, there is no saint to celebrate today. What is mentioned there is ad libitum no? in Latin, which means any mass. So I propose that our mass for today should be a Thanksgiving tribute mass. Especially to the living ones who are life-giving. Madalas kasi pag sinabing tribute, naisip natin yung mga yumao, necrological services. Merong uh, isang paalaala sa Facebook. When I die, please do not give me lots of flowers and lots of beautiful words because I can no longer smell the flowers nor hear those beautiful words. Give them to me while I'm still alive. And I think that is, uh, there's a point there because many of us are generous in criticizing and seeing the negative things about people but we are quite stingy in affirming and recognizing their good deeds. For example, right in our community, how many of you have noticed our renovated beautiful gate? Courtesy of our dynamic Father Rector, Pabs Tagura, we have now a beautiful gate at Christ the King. Divine word. Missionaries. How many of us appreciate these people who are providing for us to have this live streaming mass? With Father Arnold and now with the new team, the seminarians, little things that we miss and take for granted. So today, in the context of the readings, the first reading, the prophet Zirak pays tribute to Elijah, perhaps one of the greatest king of prophets in the Old Testament. Elijah is alive. According to the readings, he disappeared in a chariot of fire. And if you remember, in the transfiguration scene, he was one of the two with Jesus on his left and his, his right. Elijah and Moses. Elijah representing the prophets, Moses the law, and Jesus at the center. And in the Gospel, we have Matthew, Matthew's version of the Our Father. Jesus 
Jabez, a model prayer. It is also the summary of the gospel. Let us continue to learn how to pray in the context of the Our Father. Today, perhaps, I would like to share the modern version of the Beatitudes. As we know, this is the the heart of the message of Jesus, the Magna Carta. One Protestant biblical scholar said, Beatitude really means be happy attitude. Let the good people rejoice in the Lord. Let us recognize not only God's power and sovereignty, but we have a God who is a loving Father. So, perhaps we can call this pandemic beatitudes. I listed eight of them. Number one, blessed are the poor in spirit who put their trust in God. Especially our ordinary workers like the garbage collectors, delivery persons, and faithful employees. Blessed are they, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, stressed, and desperate, yet cling to their faith, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek and humble of heart. Those who stay indoors to protect others and those who join us in our lives streaming masses and those respectful of authority. Blessed are they for God's divine mercy will be theirs. Blessed are the single parents, the unemployed, and those who lost their jobs, those feeling alone, may they never forget that they are God's children. Number five, Blessed are the pure in heart, especially many of our frontline workers, for they stand between us and the grave. They will see the face of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, our honest law enforcers and principled community leaders for they will reap God's bountiful blessings. Blessed are those persecuted, misunderstood and condemned like those victims of cyberbullying And also those in prison without due process, the poor, the voiceless in the society. Blessed are they, for they will see God's justice. It will be served. And number eight, blessed are you when people revile you persecute or utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account, says the Lord. Rejoice and be glad, 
for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. OMG! It's a mouthful of blessings. Maybe undeserved. But one thing is certain. God is faithful to His Word. Amen. Abba, Father, you are in heaven, revealed by Jesus, your Son, to us. You have given me a mind to know you, a will to serve you, and a heart to love you. Tunay ngang banal ang iyong galan at dakila ang iyong pangarap para sa aming naturingang iyong mga anak sa pananampalataya. Gracious and merciful Father, sustain us in our daily struggle not only to survive this pandemic, but also to find meaning in our mission, in our ministry of service. Help us to embrace your will. And may your divine mercy help us to persevere so that we may be kind, less judgmental of others. In Jesus' name. We pray, and may the sacred heart of Jesus live in our hearts and in the hearts of all men and women today. And together now,